president-elect Donald Trump wants to shut down the Department of Education. He wants to give states control, not the federal government, over how money is spent on education. And Tennessee Governor Bill Lee is in full support, calling the idea great. News Channel 9's Meg Doyle spoke with a local advocate and a Hamilton County School Board member to see how they feel about Governor Lee's stance. Definitely a uh, fear for the future. During a press conference Wednesday, Governor Bill Lee said he welcomes President-elect Donald Trump's potential plan of shutting down the U.S. Department of Education and leaving the funding up to the state. I would welcome the opportunity to take the dollars that are spent on the federal Department of Education bureaucracy and use those dollars into our public school systems. One of the department's many functions is to help fund programs for students with disabilities and for students living in poverty. Kathy Corley is an advisory board member for Family Voices, a disability advocacy group, but most importantly, a mother to 18-year-old Anna, a student with disabilities. The worst thing that I can imagine is um, students like my daughter, um, you know, no longer having access to those types of programs and either sitting at home, um, you know, without many options for how their life is going to proceed. Ben Connor, Hamilton County School Board member, tells me that the possibility of the U.S. Department of Education being shut down scares him to death. We're just going to have to put our faith that we're going to do it right. Where we already have the metric and the standard set, there's no reason to mess with it. But Governor Bill Lee thinks the state can handle it. Tennessee is incredibly capable of determining how dollars should be spent to take care of kids with disabilities. However, this year's Tennessee Disability Scorecard received a D, with education also scoring a D. We have the funding and we only have a D. How does he think that this is going to work? And with no clear plan in place. Without pro providing that framework, um, you know, it's just ill-conceived. In Chattanooga, Meg Doyle, News Channel 9.